We're here with Garrett, John, and JD from the band Rise. I do. Hi. How did you come up with the name? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, Anthony came up with the name. Um, it just conveys something, you know, simple, something powerful, like we're a brand new band, we're rising up, I guess. Rising through the ashes. Rising through the ashes, yeah, something like that. So that's, that's pretty much where it came from. What's the hardest, awareness thing you've seen or had done by fans? Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I can wow. see the camera. <laughs> Thing ever done by a fan? Uh, That's a really broad subject. That is. He's <laughs> given a world championship belt. You are? Well, like, like WWE style? It's a women's championship. A oh, women's championship. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let's just put it this way when you do with a lot of people who are drunk and having a good time, the sky's the limit. <laughs> So, true story. What do you think you would be doing if you're not in the music business? I'd be dead. Could you make fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have to make this work. If, if, if I wasn't doing music, there would be no point. Honestly, this is what I feel like I'm here for. No answer from you, Gant? Um, <laughs> what he said. <laughs> No, it's a lever. I mean, the, the, this is, I mean, this is an awesome job. I mean, a lot of people say it's a quiet and wonderful living. I mean, the truth is, this is honorable work. Even though we're playing other people's music, but, you know, you get to get a chance to play. People come out, they dance, they smile, and they have fun. And, sure, you want to go out and we want to do things for ourselves. The truth is, we're there to play for everybody else. And when everyone else comes in, it's like that energy comes back to us. And that makes things worthwhile. We're not discovering a cure for cancer. But what we do is still important. People still need to go out and have fun and enjoy themselves. And we get to be a little creative too. We help people forget their problems for the week. I think that's what gets lost in you know what we're doing. We're providing a service. You know what I mean? Providing, you know, we're helping people forget about their stresses at work or their life. Just to escape for a little bit. Exactly. It's just as much an escape for you as it is for us. Very much. How do you feel fans of that show?
listen to each other, all of a sudden those musical moments happen. And they happen randomly. And they surprise you on stage. So, and that feeds our energy, which in turn translates off stage. And the fans pick up on that, and they give energy back to us. And then that's when that, uh, that's when the momentum builds. And that's when it actually makes a really, really great night. So, and we've had a couple of those moments. And it could be something as simple as we just nail this harm really, really cool. Or all of a sudden we just get a couple of stops to the right place. It's just those little things just get the turn for it. Unless you're a musician, you don't necessarily understand it. But if you're in the audience, you may not know what just happened, but you feel something. And those are the kind of moments when you, when you catch shows in the band. It's very rare to actually find. And that's what's fun about this movie right now, because we have a few of those moments where they change, and that's what we get excited to make grow. It makes you want to practice, makes you want to show up the next gig, which sometimes in some bands, you don't want to show up the next gig because you don't know how to do this. to other, other bands you've been in in the past? Same answer like I just gave you. Actually, it's funny you ask that because um, uh, uh, other bands I've been in, uh, I, was just, I just happened to join them in the middle of their, I guess, uh, it's hard to explain, but, but like, in this band, like, we built it from the ground up. It's just, it's so cool to be part of that because like, I feel like I'm contributing to something amazing, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain. But this one feels more personal. Yes, exactly. From the get-go. Exactly. And I don't mean to speak for these guys too, because I've got to say that too, but we've been in a situation where we're usually we're hired into someone else's band. Someone else could be here to say, this is what you do, here's A, here's B, here's C, here's B, here's, C, here's D, A is option, and right. just do this. Like we've, okay. we've, we've, we've all done filming work. With this, you know, we we we've we built it from the ground up. So it's it's a special thing. And he's had a similar background as I have. He uh, ran his own band, and the people in the band were less than professional. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I've been a superstar my whole life. No, he said the other people playing. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, totally, I'm totally kidding. Uh, you know, the head bands were. Together for a while. I had bands that were uh, you know I, I can't compare dirty laundry or trash talk or anybody like that. But I've had I've just had bad experiences in bands as well. But I've been in bands of little brothers. But don't so stop. See unfortunately in our business when you have musicians, you uh, have I don't. I show up and I'm just like, booze. <laughs> Lots of booze. <laughs> no, it's, 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 we all have our own little routines we settle into. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's an individual thing, you know, it's just. It's a good job like anything else. I mean, we all have homework to do. We need to know the songs and we show up and we are, make sure our equipment's prepared and we just, uh, he has vocal warm ups before every show, which most singers do not do. And we just, just try to show up and say sober enough. <laughs> <laughs> sober ish. Sober ish. Close enough. How do you prepare to play a room that you never played before? Kiss ass as much as possible. I treat every room exactly the same. You know, so I, don't, I don't know what I'm in for for the night until when that happens. That's why I don't prepare for a show. I prepare on the fly. I'm on stage, whatever happens, whatever energy comes back to me that I give out, that's when we're going to move on from there. Do you find it's easier to play a venue or area the more you play it? Not necessarily. The more we have a bigger crowd that is personal with us, that continues to come back and back and back. And maybe just in a particular event, maybe in many things, you know, change. Um, you know, let's just say from who we pay, we have, say, 300, 400, 500 people come out to 
see us all the time. And they just feed into us right away. Every single show. Yes, it's easier to do that than it is to walk to a room. Like when you're at, when you're adding new songs into a into your into your set list. The big rule that we actually have is we always try to stay current. How we always try to keep up on top. But the one rule that we all kind of have is if you can't do it now, we don't bother doing it. No matter how popular it is. So we'll try anything because there's some songs that we thought, oh, we're gonna do this great, and we get a rehearsal, and it's a train wreck. And other songs, and we get worried about, like, I don't know if we can do this, and it comes across. Which is usually me, because I'm the one who goes, yeah, I'm probably not gonna sound good singing that. You don't get to wear that hat by yourself, I'm not gonna do it. And then I walk in, and I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> What's your favorite song to perform? Wow. You're the first band we asked this question to. Really? Wow. I actually just added it to the list on the show. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> Oddly enough, for me, it's going to be either Wonder Girl or Sweet Carol. And I'm going to get chastised for naming the Sweet Carol. No, you're not. But what I've done with that song is created it such as an energy driven song, crowd participated song, that it just becomes. Just, I think that song has now become a staple to our show. That we have to do that song every single night because that's where I get the crowd to come. And the same thing with Wonderwall. Wonderwall, I try to get the crowd to sing that entire song. It doesn't always work. Tonight it didn't work. The song worked, but it didn't get the same result that it does Club B. And building on that, and sometimes the, the your favorite songs play are the ones you least expect to be your favorites. Like. My new favorite has become uh, Come With Me Now by Confidence. Like, say that. that one, you were just going to say that? <laughs> that, that? That's a crowd pleaser, it's fun to play. I love it. <laughs> one of the reasons why I like that song too is because that one's actually kind of become what I call like an ensemble piece, where everybody in the band kind of gets a little bit of a feature because everybody is. Uh, like, he does some vocals, I do some vocals, some cool guitar lines, some cool bass lines. It's just a really nice musical piece where everybody in the band really plays it well and interacts with well. it. So I just got to go to the piece of the band. Is there a particular area you like playing more than others? As long as there's a party happening, I'm happy to be on. Basically, the way I live. Right on. I agree with that. We do want to play in Boston again. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> and Florida. And Key West. When it's late at night and you finish your show, how do you stay awake to drive home? This is comedy. Hey, do our channel. I don't know if you had a or some comedian. Just listen to that. You left a little right now. That's what you want. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And uh, coffee. <laughs> There's also another thing too, we also kind of like, I don't know about you, I get very energized at the end of the game or something else. So usually I'm kind of, I need time to wind down. So by the time I drive home, I'm kind of wound down. So I really don't have to do a problem, but I've been doing this for so long, and you guys have too as well, where it's like you just kind of, your mind's saying, I gotta get home, I gotta get home, but you just drive and just find ways to stay awake. So, yep. For me, because I work a day job, sometimes it's, Saturdays are easy to drive. Friday is not so much. 6 a.m. sucks. Vampire with a paper out. What's some of your favorite bands to go out and see? When you have the chance to go. And you can't say lies. What's your favorite band to go watch? Oh, favorite band? Like, local band or national band? Local band. Local on the local band. scene. When you have the chance to, you like to go out and see. Does it have to be just one? It can be more than one. Okay, and let's clarify. Does it just have to be like the Lehigh Valley area you know, type bands? It could be like. Lehigh Valley, so that would be local. Yeah. 
They could be like from Jersey or I Delaware. Used to <laughs> I used to go out, actually, me, me and my girlfriend used to go out and see his band all the time. Now it's <laughs> <so. laughs> uh, uh, He stole me from that band. <laughs> Steal a lot of cast. <laughs> Uh, for me, uh... This drummer's still mad at me. Uh, don't get it. I was just gonna say that. Um... It's a tough one. I love Gypsy Wisdom. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. And Joe. Yep. And Joey. And even Manx. One of the best of Manx. Um... Uh, I think there's another one, too. Thursday night. I saw it. I saw it, actually. Yeah, they're one of my faves. Yeah, Gypsy Wiz and I haven't seen them in a long time, but they're some of my dear friends too. So them and uh, Modern Bliss. Uh, oh yeah, Bliss Boys. God love the Bliss Boys. Amazing. Awesome. Anything else you want to ask? All right. Thank you guys. All right. Thank you, girls. Cut. <laughs>